Good morning, everyone, uh, and welcome to Innovation Monday. My name is Brad Sutton. I am the head of global sales and customer success for HR.com, and I am your host today. Uh, now, you're probably asking two questions. One, Brad, why is it so dark where you're at? Did they put you in a cave? And the answer to that is no. I'm in Minneapolis. It just happens to be very rainy today, so forgive me. I don't get a lot of light in my office. Uh, the second question is, is probably what is Innovation Monday? And Innovation Monday is an opportunity for you to act as an investor. Uh, we're going to give you $1,000 worth of play money, and you can invest a portion of that or all of that into the vendors that you are going to hear from today, with the caveat being that we've got one. Uh, today, uh, you will get three questions at the end of the webcast. Would you use this product on a scale of one to five? How informative was the pitch on a scale of one to five? And then you'll have the option to invest zero, 250, 500, or $750, or $1,000, in this vendor. Um, most days we will have, uh, on the additional weeks, we'll have some uh, additional vendors. Uh, it just so happens we've got one today, but please come back and check us out for other Innovation Mondays. And then of course, all week long, where we are talking about benefits, wellness, and uh, rewards this week. All right, so I've got on the uh, line with me here, uh, R.D. Whitney is the CEO of the Validation Institute. R.D. has a long history as an executive and uh, chief executive officer and uh, with a number of different companies and has been building professional communities for 30 years. Uh, Validation Institute is a membership organization made up of networks of healthcare vendors, health benefits advisors, and purchaser benefit managers focused on delivering better health value and stronger outcomes than conventional healthcare. R.D., the floor is yours. Thank you, Brad, and thank you to HR.com for uh, ho hosting this today. So let me get right to it. Um, and just uh, before I go into the Certified Health Value Professional designation, uh, let me just give you a little bit of history about the Validation Institute and why we created this in the first place. The history of the Validation Institute actually comes out of GE and in, in, in Intel. They were, they were coming out with a, a healthcare point solution for which they would call the employer directly and say, we can improve outcomes or we can lower costs uh, for your employer healthcare. Uh, and they were making that marketing claim, but they were surprised that they could say anything they wanted. There was no equivalent of uh, underwriters laboratory or anything else that you would expect in a, in a normal marketplace that didn't exist in healthcare. So for you uh, having to make a decision on what wellness programs to bring in or what benefits to bring in, these, these vendors can pretty much say anything they want uh, and there's nobody uh, validating that. So Intel and G thought that would be a great service. So they got independent funding to create the Validation Institute. And this went on for years and, and had uh, good traction. It was run by the data scientists themselves that were doing the validation of the marketing claim. And uh, so uh, it wasn't really that commercialized until about last uh, summer when it was bought by a philanthropist who's very passionate about uh, what we call the tapeworm of the American economy and American competitiveness, which is healthcare. So that's the roots of the Validation Institute. So the next slide, please. Um, but, you know, while that's a great service, while you every day, your phone is ringing, and just since we started this call, there's probably been uh, three other healthcare point solutions that have been come out and been funded and are going to approach you. Um, we think it's a great service that you can uh, feel good that if it's validated, uh, that if that marketing claim is validated, it's an, it's an easier, less risky purchase for you. But we, we saw a bigger problem. We went around the country and we talked to many people like those that are on the phone today. And we asked, where do you get your information about um, the purchasing of healthcare? And over and over again, the answer was the same. They're getting their information from the exact same establishment that likes things exactly the way they are. Then those are the same um, um, partners that make more money when your rates go up. So it's not gonna fix itself uh, if the incentives are misaligned. So we thought what a great opportunity to create a community of the employer buyers of healthcare and create a national education program that would provide non-biased information on the ways that employers could dramatically improve the outcomes of the healthcare being provided to employers and dramatically lower the cost. So no more 
hey, um, you know, your rates were going to be an increase of 10 or 12 percent this year, but I, I fought them hard and I got it down to 8 percent. No, you follow some of the things that you will learn in the CHVP. Uh, gone will be the days where your rates are going up. You will be able to start moving them down with better health care uh, and benefits for your employers. Your employees will love it. Your CFO will love it and your career will love it. Um, so that's what we asked ourselves, you know, how could we improve, improve the empl employees' lives of employers? Be confident that the vendor performance claims are accurate um, and understand which healthcare benefit programs can come in without incre increasing costs, in fact, decreasing costs. How can we deliver these programs uh, effectively uh, for the current uh, situation and future situations and ultimately deliver better healthcare outcomes at substantially lower cost? Next slide, please. So um, before I talk about the specifics of the Certified Health Value Professional Certification Program, which is taking off across the country, and I will explain that, let me just do a little bit of background here uh, on the healthcare system. Next slide, please. So, you know, I think I'm probably preaching to the choir here for the people that are on the call. Our healthcare system is broken. Uh, it's consuming far more of our GDP, of, of America's GDP than any other country on the planet. Uh, a study came out just the end of last week that said the average family health care cost now is the equivalent of buying a new car every single year, a little over $20,000. That is not sustainable. And the current establishments are not offering any solutions. They like things the way they are. In fact, the way that the health care reform um, was established they were, there were uh, limits put on how much profit can be made. So what do you do when there's a limit on how much profit you can be made? You increase the, the revenue. And that's exactly what's happened. Uh, the stock prices of insurance companies have grown well over a thousand percent in recent history, while employees have not received raises, employers have been getting stuck with costs, and there's a lot of cost shifting going on. So this is absolutely unsustainable. But what can we do about it? What in a practical way can employers do about this? So next slide. Next slide, please. <clears throat> um, the other thing is it's incredibly complex. Uh, it, uh, you're um, most likely inundated every day by companies contacting you saying that they can improve healthcare outcomes and lower costs. How can you trust them? And, and how can you get non unbiased information about the purchasing of healthcare? So next slide, please. So what can be done? So next slide, please. So we've introduced the Certified Health Value Professional Program. It is um, 12 modules of online learning where you, all, all the areas where you're, it has the information that you're not currently getting in an unbiased way. One, this is great for your organization to have as a library of training. Two, it's great for your career uh, to get this designation. Um, uh, three, it's great for the employees of your organization as you put some of these changes in place to dramatically improve the quality of the healthcare and reduce the cost of the healthcare that helps the employer and the employee. So, um, and, and uh, because there was such a, a gap of information in this area, SHRM recognized this and fast-tracked the CHVP and it now counts towards SHRM recertification credit. So, that's a you know, kind of a win-win. So you can go through the CHVP, count it as your recertification credit for SHRM, and learn all this information that has not been available in, a, in, an, in one place in an unbiased way before. All online, all very cost-effective, uh, and good for all participating. Uh, next slide, please. <clears throat> so let me get a little bit specific here about the modules um, that you can expect. So it's an online learning um, program that you would log into, very user-friendly, um, very much uh, e-learning uh, uh, based like you would expect. You'd see videos and tools and things. And then after each module, a quiz to make sure you've comprehended, uh, learned the information uh, for each module and, uh, um, and develop the learning objectives that ha have been set. Uh, so the first one is uh, uh, establishing worksite primary care and steerage arrangements. We then go into identifying, monitoring high performance healthcare services. We talk about population health management techniques. These are all extremely practical. They're not academic. They're done in a way that the uh, 
um, and if it's professional, can put to work right away. So that when your advisor or uh, insurer comes to you and tells you things that you can, you can feel confident for yourself that the information you're getting is, is accurate or you can challenge them. Uh, other optimizing drug spend, that's actually an area that a lot of companies will focus on uh, fairly quickly because it's low hanging fruit. Um, I am uh, just heard from a chief people officer uh, that implemented a, a, a better um, uh, drug pricing um, mechanism in their company and saved over $600,000 $600, in the first year and is sharing some of that back with the employees. Uh, we talk about managing reference based pricing, bundled pricing, captive insurance arrangements, uh, utilizing uh, effective health care uh, benefits analytics, managing performance uh, and managing risk with self-funded health plans. We talk about bulletproofing your su summary plan design and documentation. So this is all ironclad. Using claims review uh, to capture uh, 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 immediate savings. That's another area that people focus on right away. And Quora. And Quora is uh, a module that teaches you the same techniques that our data scientists use when evaluating a data, uh, when evaluating what a vendor is, is making for a marketing claim. So you'll have access to uh, these learning modules and we will continue to deliver them based off of requests that come in. Uh, and we, we plan to develop a long-term community here. So think of this as a library that's, that's you know, at your disposal. Uh, uh, these, the, the people training, uh, training on these online modules are the experts around the country that are, are well known for these particular areas. Next slide, please. So let me just get down to some of the specifics here as well. Um, the uh, courses, they're all, they're all on key health benefit topics, as I mentioned. They range between 60 and 90 minutes to go through each module. It's all self-paced. You can do it anytime you want. You can log in. It'll keep track of where you're at. We do have a short um, exam at the end of each topic to make sure that the information is being retained. And we ask that uh, 10 modules are completed for the CHVP. Um, which is the Certified Health Value uh, Professional designation. Uh, just a couple um, uh, other milestones that have happened here as this spreads across the country. Uh, you, you may all belong to different business groups on health or alliances uh, to help deal with the uh, extraordinary challenges of, of purchasing healthcare benefits. Uh, the Florida Alliance on Health Value recently took on the CHVP as a new member benefit for those employers, including companies like Disney. So they saw the value in this for their employer members, and they, if you're a member of that, you, you, you will get that as a member benefit. Um, we've also done similar arrangements, <coughs> excuse me, with the Pittsburgh uh, group um, and, and other groups around the country, and it's really catching on. We are thrilled with the attendance on the uh, webinar today and shows us a real, real need for this type of information. So um, next slide, please. So uh, I'm gonna just move on to some questions that have come in. Uh, and uh, we're always here uh, for questions uh, at any time. Uh, just let me say it now and I'll say it again at the end of the webinar. But uh, if you have any questions about this program, it's just simply email us at education at validationinstitute.com. That's validation, I'm sorry, education at validationinstitute.com. So a couple of the questions that came in, so right away, we had a question of how much does this cost? So it's $1,195 for the entire program. Uh, it gives you access to the entire program. Uh, and uh, we've got another question here. Is, is it applicable to both benefits professionals and advisors? That's a great question. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm uh, coming over cold. Uh, the, uh, the CHVP actually is quickly being adopted by both benefit professionals and advisor brokers. We were actually surprised by that, but we, as we talked to the broker advisors, they said two things. We wanna have the same education that our buyers are so that when we come to talk to them, we're on the same page and we need to check for our blind spots ourselves. So they started as a real a helpful library um, and they started as very beneficial um, so that when they do talk to the benefits professionals, everybody's on the same page with unbiased information. So I got a question here as well, you know, if my company is fully insured, would this still be worthwhile? 
this is a great program, whether you're fully insured, self-insured, however you're providing benefits to any company that has that is big enough to have a benefits professional organizing the purchase of healthcare benefits. This program is ideal uh, and it's ideal for that professional's career as well. So um, this covers the health value spectrum. Uh, it's, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's essential now uh, in dealing with health benefits. So uh, definitely worthwhile uh, for every stage that you're in. Um, so um, I, I received another question here. Are you planning to develop a module focused on health engagement or do you see that as part of the population health strategy? It's a, a, a great specific question. Health engagement will be covered specifically in that, in that population health module. So, uh, do we discuss uh, pharmacy tourism uh, in one of our modules? That has been suggested, uh, and it's obviously a hot topic right now, as well as surprise medical billing and uh, some other areas. So we're taking all that in and we're developing modules uh, to, as, as, as uh, it becomes uh, important. So we will continue to deliver on those. Uh, I have a question here, uh, another question. Will current content include information on shared health plans? Yes, it will. Uh, I have a question. Who are the course content creators and, and what are their academic credentials? Great question. Um, our faculty is comprised of leading industry subject matter experts. These are, dis these are very distinguished professionals who've been recognized in their field. And, and yes, academically solid, but pra they are practitioners. They have been in the industry and they are teaching in a way that is very practical that can be applied right away. So um, I got the question about continuing education credits. As I mentioned, uh, this comes for uh, Sherm recertification credit. Uh, and um, uh, can I, I got a couple other questions here that I'm gonna try to hit on as many as I can here. Uh, can you refer back to the modules and the documentation after the program is completed? Absolutely. Consider it's a library for you to resource uh, reference at any time. Um, he answered that one. Uh, does anyone have this designation, designation yet? And if so, what industries? Um, this program was just launched at the end of April and uh, we have over a thousand professionals in it already. So it is absolutely taking off. We, we expect to be, there to be tens of thousands uh, um, in, a, in a not too distant future. So it is really catching on. How do employers access this course was another question. It's all contained in a very user-friendly learning system. You'll receive a lot of information. Um, and um, if you have any questions uh, during the, uh, while you're in a module, who can you contact? You'll, you'll have a full access to a Ask the Expert uh, area of the site. And of course, yes, it's mobile friendly. So um, those were some of the questions I want to hit on. Can you go to the next slide, please? Um, <coughs> excuse me, get a sip of water here. I wanted to thank for everybody that listened on today and we have a, a special uh, incentive. <clears throat> we really believe in, in the power of this education. We think it would be helpful for you uh, as an employer. We try to make it uh, as economically feasible from a cost standpoint as possible uh, to give us sustainability to grow it across the country. But for listening in on the webinar today, if you go to our link and, and um, purchase the certification and use the code MONDAY, uh, you'll get $300 off. Um, so that's, um, you know, a, a great price to get this entire uh, level of education. And the other thing is, if at any time, it's 100% guaranteed, money back guaranteed at any time. We, 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 we want to get this information out across the country. We want to make sure people are completely satisfied. We want to keep evolving it for the benefit of everyone involved. So uh, it is absolutely risk-free. Uh, so use that code Monday. The link is right there, validationinstitute.com slash certification. Use that promo code Monday and uh, you'll get $300 off uh, as an incentive. <clears throat> so um, with that, um, I, I, wanna, I wanna thank everyone for uh, participating today in the webinar. Um, and uh, you know, we, we, we're all, have the same goal here in America. You know, as Warren Buffett calls healthcare the tapeworm of American competitiveness, um, we all want to work together to make it uh, a competitive advantage. Uh, so uh, I think this education can be very helpful to you as an employer. If you have any questions, you just email us at that education at validationinstitute.com. 
That's education at validationinstitute.com. And uh, thank you to hr.com uh, today for the opportunity to get up on, on the virtual stage here and talk about the CHVP program. Brad, any questions? No questions for me. Uh, great job, RD, thank you. Uh, for the audience, uh, you'll be, uh, again, asked to participate here in three polls. Uh, Kathy, I believe you are going to put up our first poll here in just a second. There it is. So first question, would you use this product on a scale of one to five? And remember, we've got three questions. So please answer all three. Uh, the last one being, how much would you invest if you were a venture capitalist? Kathy, let me know when uh, the poll has ended. All right. I've just yeah. launched the second one. Here we go. How informative was this pitch on a scale of one to five? Nice. And finally, if this was your money to invest and you had $1,000, would you invest in Validation Institute? And if so, how much? Awesome. All right, folks. That's the end for today. Uh, Kathy, if there's anything else, I'm going to uh, give the, the floor to you, but I think we're done here. And just wanna encourage everybody to check out the rest of the week. We've got a number of different great presentations happening uh, throughout the week. And then of course, if you're interested in talent acquisition or payroll or talent management and learning and development, uh, check out the other weeks here Go throughout the month. Uh, it's a month long virtual event. Thank you for coming today. Have a great day. Thanks, Brad, and thank you to Validation Institute for presenting this demo for us today. To the audience, the archived webcast will be available on hr.com within about 24 hours if you've missed anything and you want to go back and get any links or phone numbers. Thank you for joining us. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.